Okay, this is uh, Burbank and Lima Street. This is Krabby Auntie. She's at uh, this medical building. And this is uh, 3417 West Magnolia, uh, West Burbank Boulevard. That's the Krabby Auntie. She's there sometimes, and then other times she's over by the liquor store. She may be here because there's a 7 Eleven here. They don't usually, homeless people don't usually stay right next to or in front of the liquor store or a source of alcohol. They usually go about half a block down or a block down, but you always notice that they're near alcoholic beverages. There's the Krabby Auntie right there. But they're always by alcoholic beverages. Um, at least the, you know, the addicts are, you know, which is most of the people. All right, gang, I've got this guy here. He's just sort of meandering down the road and doesn't seem to have an aim or a purpose. So we just decided we were gonna take a break and just see what he's up to. He knows that we're here because he saw us make a U-turn, but it just it just looks a little strange to me. Uh, so I'm just che checking him out. If he just goes into a business or a residence or whatever, we're good. Otherwise, I'm, he's a new face I don't recognize. And this late at night, you know, I'm curious what he's doing. He just doesn't seem to have a purpose. So we like to check this stuff out and give a few minutes of our time and see what happens. And we'll so we're here at, at Victory Place and Burbank Boulevard. And then, you know, over here for like literally more than a week, this Walmart shopping cart has been off this overpass. This uh, goes over the five freeway. And that shopping cart has literally sat there. And I... You know, I always say this to the city workers, if you actually lived here, the city would look very different. That's what I always say. And then of course I get the usual grumpy response of, you know, well, I really care about the community. If you really gave a uh, about the community, you wouldn't see shopping carts like that because you would go to Walmart and you would tell them, pick up your, your carts, you people. I was going to be giving some expletives, but someone told me people tend to tune those out, start tuning you out if you give too many expletives. So up here um, around the corner, there's oftentimes been camping. This is metro property, metro, not city property. So I'm going to dip, dip in here. I always check this little alcove and see if there's any, any tents here. And there is no tents, but there's the sign of the previous guy. The Marine, I called him, he used to stay there. The Marine. And he's not there anymore, so. Also, we have a large population of professional panhandlers that come up to this mall. They're not actually homeless, but they put on a good show and they make you look very, you know, they make you very, uh, uh, they, they get very, um, you know, they put on the, 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 the pull your heartstrings and, and make it look like they're really destitute. But they're professionals, you know it, because, you know, they're not they're not dirty enough to be real homeless people. They may be in shelters, possibly, but I doubt it. All right, so this is uh, a brand new one. Anytime somebody is aimless, you know, they're kind of aimless, I always call them aimless, you know, you, He's sort of aimless. He's got clean shoes, though. I don't know. Could just be a you know a person who's having a nice stroll. But he's very you know we'll call him Kane because he's you know on a on a a nomadic mission. I don't know. This one's questionable. Got a clean backpack. Hard to say. Just. Just the gait, the way that the person walks is sort of hobbling and they don't really seem like they're going anywhere and they have no purpose. Uh, that, that leads me to believe they're a homeless person and uh, not moving with any sort of certainty. But we'll see. That's, that's, we'll call that person Kane because he's sort of like, like the movie Kung Fu.